Howdy folks, welcome back to me and Pulse. Hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. It's just me messing around with my headset. I was having some really bad games and I decided to jump in the headset and when I saw the matchmaking I went, oh boy, it's poning time. And it was a bit of fun. I quite enjoyed it. And I also ended up spending the last couple of times chasing them around a bloody friggin' church. Right, the reason why I'm doing this video is, uh, to be honest, I want to talk about the fact that I've overclocked my graphics card and also the fact that I want to overclock my CPU, but a subscriber asked me if I could show, show on a video how it's done using the Gigabyte apps. And fair enough, I want to do that, but can someone please recommend me a really good software where I can use to record uh, my screen? For, for you to watch, you know, absolutely fantastic, you know, something that will be absolutely good so I can show you how to do it. I've already overclocked my graphics card, which is surprising. However, before I carry on with that, I would like to point out the Gigabyte Apps Center, which comes with the motherboard, which is the software you have to install. It does override MSI Afterburner. Yeah, you can't have both running at the same time because the, it'll override MSI, it'll It'll throw it for whatever you set on MSI will not activate on the graphics card because the motherboard takes over. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. However, I must admit, I'm enjoying the apps. Uh, so at the moment, I have overclocked my graphics card to 1120 from 1001 from 1020. So I've given it a nice good 100 hertz overclock on the GPU and the uh, GDR. 5 memory, I've overclocked by 100 as well, from 1500 to 1600. Put 10% power com consumption, and it seems to be stable. I was going to go a little bit higher, but I'm not going to risk it at the moment. So I'm going to see, give it a while. It seemed to work perfectly fine last night when I was playing Star Wars Battlefront with uh, Tango Echo Alpha, Blues and Twos, and the Raiden Wolf. It was really good fun. I believe uh, Tango has recorded some of those gameplays, so it'll be absolutely fun to see it on his channel. Hope you enjoy it. And it's, I must admit, it did work perfectly fine. I was on ultra settings, I dropped my FX down to uh, low, and I was getting on base occasionally uh, when you got really hard, you know, graphical things. I was getting around about 53 was the lowest I went down to, and I was on the ultra settings, everything on ultra, which is fantastic. So. I'm thinking if I drop that down to high, I'll probably be getting well over 100 frames per second, which is what I really want. So I know for a fact my graphics card is not brilliantly uh, coped for Ultra on Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I could get Ultra, but I also need to get a better CPU. However, I want to overclock my CPU. I'm not quite sure how to do it in the BIOS yet, because apparently I've got to disable quite a few functions before I'm able to... Uh, overclock the uh, CPU via the BIOS. However, there is an app to allow you to overclock. Yep, it does. And that's the, what I want to show you, because apparently you've got your standard, which is my normal, which is the uh, 3.8 hertz that I start off with, but when it needs it, it'll boost to 4100. 4, uh, 4, However, if I wanted to do a light overclock, I can go to 4.2. If I want to do a medium, I can go to 4.3. And if I want to do an extreme, as they call it on the app, it goes to 4.4. I can do that. However, as I've only got a stock cooler, it ain't going to work that way. So 4.2 is probably the sweet spot for a stock cooler. I know a stock cooler can handle 4.3, but I'd rather stick to 4.2. But I want to show you how to do this via recording off the screen. So that's why I've asked you right at the beginning of the video if you can recommend a software which allows you to do that. It would be absolutely fantastic. Then I could do that video that a subscriber has asked for to show you how to overclock. And I must admit, with graphics cards, have you noticed the lottery you get with graphics cards? The fact when you literally overclock a graphics card, you get if you look online, you get people, right? And you search, say, like my graphics card, MSI, R9, 280X, OC, Gaming Edition, right? And the amount of people's overclocks are completely different. One person's getting 1,300 GPU, and another person's going to only get 1,100, and then it just does, it's just a complete lottery. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you, could be, you could be the really lucky one, or you could be the unlucky one, which you can't get past 1,100. 
<laughs> I've got 1,020 at the moment and I'm on 10% power. If I boost that power up to 20% and do 1,050, I'll probably be okay. And then up the clock again to uh, 1,650 for the uh, GDR5. I might be able to do that, but I don't want to push it too far because I need to install another SSD and another hard drive so I get a lot of storage on my PC. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know what software you recommend to record the screen and then I could do an overclocking video. But overall, I am satisfied with this motherboard. Until next time, it's bye from me.